Hey guys, to start, if you're after your normal horror video, I've just put out a list on terrifying real stalkers on this channel and a video on creepy places in Fallout 4 on my side channel. This video is going to be about channel related stuff and copyright. So, if you haven't been keeping up, a trending topic on YouTube has been fair use, and the rights of content creators on YouTube under the hashtag WTFU with the slogan Where's the Fair Use? We've seen movie reviewers who use footage getting hit by automated monetization claims and even strikes, damaging their channel for an unnecessarily long period of time when, in the end, they always win. We've also seen strikes used as censorship, notably when Super Bunny Hop made a video exposing behind the scenes information on Konami. But I've been hit by something that I feel is different from the norm, so I feel it's something that should be brought to light. This week, my channel had four videos removed from one person, under the assumed alias, Jane Aus. Here's a quick breakdown of one of the videos, why I didn't shower for 21 years. It's a horror story written by Redgrin on Reddit, composed of purchased royalty-free music, with purchased royalty-free visuals, narrated by me. The thumbnail is made with visuals from a makeup slash photography company I have permission to use. So let's make this clear. I own the rights to my voice. I own the rights to the visuals. I own the rights to the music. I have expressed permission from Jimmy to narrate the story. I have expressed permission from the photographer for the thumbnail art. It's easy to prove I have full rights to that video. Another video removed, written by another author I know, is the same case. And that in itself takes out the author factor as each video that's been taken down has been written by different people. There's no common link between any of these videos. So, what does this mean? Well, it shows that the strikes are blatantly false. However, this leads to the tricky question, what can I do? I can scream to the high heavens and that won't accomplish anything. There's actually a copyright related email address run by YouTube under copyright at youtube.com. I can and have emailed them, However, waiting for a response from them is a gamble with time, as it feels like it's ran by one man living in the North Pole. I've emailed my partnership company. However, contrary to popular belief, they actually have no real obligation to protect you. You sign contracts stating that you hold the rights to your own content, which is the norm. However, you also sign that you are legally responsible for your own stuff, and the results are similar to waiting for a response from YouTube themselves. I can counter the strikes, which takes a few weeks to clear. Sure, that's the best option, however, very inconvenient. And something disgusting about this to me is, to file a takedown, the action is immediate and is always taken as right, no matter how wrong. However, if I file against one, it gets put under review by YouTube. Can we just collectively facepalm at that? YouTube will personally investigate me if I'm lying about the counter notification, however to file one, it gets taken as real straight off the bat. And we haven't even hit the ugly truth behind this. You see, it's talked about a lot that companies can and have abused the copyright system on YouTube. What's scary is that this power is also given to anyone. Can I repeat that? Anyone. Some people have argued that it's not YouTube's fault for the fair use drama, but rather the companies abusing the system. However, I feel this is an important case to argue against that. Anyone can go through the due process of filing out a DMC takedown form and get a video removed. Sure, if it's disproven, it's possible to get them back, and channels that have been taken down from this, such as I Hate Everything and Team 4 Star, can come back easily once everything is investigated. But should I and other YouTubers be living on the precipice that our channel can be digitally assaulted by anyone if they feel like it. However, as you have the power to destroy, you also have the power to help. It was you, as a collective, that made so much noise that they brought back the channels that were falsely taken down, and more. It sucks that I have to make this video, especially because I personally hate breaking character on here. But YouTube has conditioned us so that the most powerful way to send a message on here right now is to make noise. For now, if you want to be kept up to date, 
follow me on Twitter at creeps underscore McBaster. And if you want, subscribe to my side channel, Creeps Plays, in case things really go awry, and an update would be posted there. Thank you.